I always wondered what would happen to this place. When you come along the shoreline just before the entrance, you think, there's no way you can get a boat in there. Then it opens up and there's this absolute treasure that's inside, this gem. I remember the first time I came here, I thought no one has ever been here before. It's a magical space. Outside of Rogue's Roost, it can be really rough, and you come into this little paradise. We're so lucky to be able to hike and explore these coastal barrens. It's an amazing piece of property. You can just imagine all the things that have happened. Maybe some pirates have snuck in here, or the rogues after they were rum running and getting away from the authorities. It's steeped in history. It is such rugged terrain from the shoreline up to Roost Pond. It's such an incredible coastal paradise. A beautiful, pristine gem. In the heart of the Rogue's Roost Wilderness area, there's a piece of privately owned land. And as you come into Rogue's Roost by boat, it'd be straight ahead of you. And if you can imagine in the middle of this gem, a development could have gone in. If you can imagine roads cutting through here and houses, it would completely change the whole feeling of the area. It's so exciting to be involved in this campaign. It's a fantastic opportunity that this land stay in the hands of Nova Scotians forever. It's easy to take for granted that special places like Rogue's Roost will just always be there. But we have to make sure that we take the appropriate steps to ensure that we have these places. And we need support from everybody who understands the value of preserving our coastline. <laughs>